Welcome back, everybody, to some more. Everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Going to um, get some more practice in on Imperial Garden. We're going to do long tees and teeny cups because I figure my putting needs to get better. So, what better way to improve my putting and to play teeny cups and um, really test myself? So, if I can get a good score at long teeny, surely long normal is going to be easier. Also, I haven't played this setup, so I'm setting a score as well, although I'm using the normal clubs. So 195 to go. I've got to figure out all the setups as well, all the places to put the ball. That's the other thing I need to do as we go through this. Because long is just a little bit longer than normal. So all the places I was trying to pitch the ball. Oh my days. All the places I was trying to pitch the ball um, for normal tornado are clearly not the place to pitch the ball now. Yeah, I think it does break left. But not much. So yeah, this is really one putting practice. It's there. What happened there? Oh, oh dear. Just I suppose it, it did break left. Um, but also, I need to figure out where to put the ball on some of the longer holes because the setups I've got aren't working for me. So we got a par. We've played this as nines, haven't we? And we have not done well by the looks of things. Hold two. It's a par four. It's a two. Now, I stuck it in the bunker last time because I can't quite reach that ridge. Mm. Oh. Well, we missed it. That'll help. So we get to practice our recovery. Is that going to go in that bunker? No, it's going to go in the long stuff. Okay, 125 to go. It's going to catch a couple of rattles on the way through. So I we'll really need to give it some stick. Not two there. Okay. Another chip. So we've learnt nothing really, because one we already figured out, and two we made a mess of. However, I do need the putting practice. Got to figure out these greens. Got to get a good feel, because they're probably all birdieable if only you can get it close enough. So three is the first example of one that the process doesn't work. So previously, you'd end up a bit further up, and you could just hit round this bunker. Now that bunker's properly in play. I still think this is the best side to go round. Go. Yeah, that's the place to pitch it for sure. Gotta be careful you don't go right though, because you'll roll out. So 165. Now I tried this line coming back round here, but it's downwind now, so that's not going to work. Bit of spin on it. Try and pitch past that bunker. No, we're going to hit the front of it. You might have to play backspin to that then, I assume. However. We can probably backspin this out. Oh, that's not bad. But again, we're taking par putts, not birdie putts. Got to find the way to get those second shots on the green. Or at least chippable. So three pars. I do not like four, except when I hold it in one. So let's go power shot three. Bravo. Yeah. Right. On the surface, it's long again. Water. Keep doing this and the drop is terrible because you end up on the cart on some sort of track a heck of a way away. Uh. 
Which is not helpful. Oh, good shot. So I got a bogey putt. Sloping down, I think. That's a good putt, though. To be fair, that's a good putt for a bogey. It's a par four. Yeah, and the strategy here still applies. It's still the best place to hit it's here. Is to play here. And bring it round. Maximise your landing area as much as you can. Just to allow for that little variation. So we've got 90 to go. Into the wind. Oh, that's okay. Shots for a birdie. <laughs> oh, my days. Sloping downhill. Breaking to the left. Somewhere around there. Oh. No. Oh. Rejected. Focus. So we're denied. Denied our first birdie. Even I need more coffee to play this. Six. It's a par five. It's another par five. Damn win. So it's the skip on is the question. I don't think it is, is it? It's just too difficult. What we can try and do though. Get a bit of shape on it. It's that brook that's causing me the problems. It's pitching in it. Yeah, like that. It's almost on exactly the right line. Alright, what can we do? We can smack a 7 iron out, that's about it. Gotta be careful not to clip the scenery. Yeah, like that. It's out at least. Alright. Let's throw the three wood up there. Oh, we're in the rough. Look Doesn't the help. Closely. And we're a fair way off. See what I did there? Thank you. We're a fair way off. Masterful. And even that wasn't too close. But again, got to get on the fairway. Got to get on the fairway. Got to not end up in the water. And I've got to not miss those putts. This is why we practice, though. This is why we practice. It's a powerful. So I don't think much changes on seven. Although you can play that side probably, but I will still play this side. And again, just trying to maximise the landing area. That's all right. Okay, 175 to go. Into the wind. Power shot four, Ryan. Clearly the clearly the um, weapon of choice. We've gone back side to it. So get it up and hold it. That's okay. Oh, great play. You're Left it up that club nicely. For the birdie. Now we got an actual birdie putt. Breaking to the right. Oh. Oh dear. She says it's there. Just relax. It's patently not there. Another par. Gotta sort the putting out. 
but then that's why we're playing the teeny cups. Okay. Nice, no, so this is a three. Ah, Mystic gone way left. Might still end up in a decent spot though. So we've got all the left hand sway, then came back to the right. Figure that one out. Sloping uphill. Let's go left edge. Oh, <laughs> finally crack a birdie. Oh my, it's a par five. And again, I think this strat worked, although Suzuki didn't like it because I bounced it off that um. That's about the. I mean, the other strat is this one, is to play up to here. So you're a bit shorter, Great shot. but straighter shot that gives you a good second shot to set up the approach to the green for the birdie. Basically, means taking the eagle out though. So three oh nine. You can hit a big old wood. Masterful. And you have got a nice spot to land it there, which leaves you about 60 odd, 76. So you're going to chip in. I'm going to have to play this backspin, I think. Oh, wind really got hold of it. Uh, I'm going to have to chip for the birdie. <laughs> Bit of luck, but I'll take it. So, even going out. See what we can do coming back. Again, we're just a little bit short here, which makes this shot a little bit interesting. So previously, you safely just drop it over there, but now it's a bit more difficult. You're going to kind of land here. So the choices are... What are the choices? I mean, you could play over here and give yourself a shot over the houses. In fact, that might not be a bad idea. There's a big bit of fairway over here. You go. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. You're not adding that much distance. And you're almost guaranteed to be on the fairway. He's just kind of got a blind shot, but that's not a problem. Well, there is the problem clearing these houses. That might be the issue with this shot. Yeah, that is the issue with this shot. So you end up... I'm not sure whether you can clear those. Well, there's a way to find out. Oh, you can just clip a tree. Yeah, so that needs a bit of work, really, as a as an approach. However, we're not in bad shape. Got a chip with teeny cups. To take the par. Need to work on that. It's potentially a good line, but that house just makes it tricky. Even it's a par again. 11's the big par 5 over the lock gates. It's a par five. Into the wind, sadly. And I just need to keep out of the grubby mitts of that big bunker. Oh, neat shot! Should be okay. The risk will be when it's downwind and you think you want to go for it. That'll be the risk with that one. 
It's a question. Can you actually have a stab at this? There's only one way to find out. Go. Yeah, good shot. Right, give it a belt. Problem is, there's water, there's bunkers. <laughs> so that's probably not the shot to play. However, we're all right. Gonna get a birdie pup. Go for the birdie. So it's not the traditional way, but if I get it, I'll take it. Get us under par. It's a par four. It's a twelve. Again, our strategy holds on twelve. This is still the best shot to play. Give it a bit of air, see if I can get the wind to carry it. I oh, got it to 300. So 112 left, it's right at the back. A little bit long. I've got a pup though. No, 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 no. no. Just relax. Could have done with a touch more power, I think, to straighten it. Ah, I missed another birdie. I've got all those short putts we've left though. Half a foot, 0.3 of a foot, 0.7 of a foot. So this you picked up there for sure. Uh, so 13 into the wind. I think we still play for our little our little zone here. Oh, good shot. That's okay. So 107 to go into the wind. Might need a bit of club on it. Oh, nice shot! All the left-hand sway it could find. Ooh. Pace was good though. Look at that. Oh, well, uh, go for the birdie! It gives us a birdie club. A birdie club. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> nice Two under. So. Okay. 14 is the hard par 3. Oh, 14. Where's the it's pin? A par three. No, the pin's back centre, which is that's attackable. I have overhit that for sure. Oh, nice job. Wow, I was going to land on that little apron. That might check it now. It's going to run through and it's out and it's wet. Uh, do I get a drop? I get a drop at least. Yeah, that was frustrating. I knew the second I hit it, I'd blown it. But again, so what we practice is get all the bad shots out. And we can play a decent round on the day. Seven foot for the bogey. That nearly didn't break. Back to one under. Oh, 15. It's a par four. So 15, I've got a decent strategy downwind going. Great! Because you can reach that one. Well, you can reach that one and then some. And then in theory the slope holds it. Nice! Ah, can we convert this? Can we convert it? Put a bit on because of that slope. Oh, that's alright. 
chance for a birdie. It's a seven foot putt. You got this. No problem. Got it. Back to two under. All part of the plan. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't say that. Oh, 16. So 16's the big par five. five. My little skips out the question. The real question is, what can we do around here? Oh, good shot. Don't want to overhit it because of all those little bunkers. It should be okay. Just gonna go over the gorse. It's a 319, so we're gonna lay up here somewhere. Yeah, good job. Oh. Might have a bit much on it. Yeah, it's gone out to the right. Ah, that's a mistake. Look at the gauge closely. Okay. just on. No, it's not on. Again, that was a mistake. Need a bit of chipping magic. Oh, you're kidding me. There's too many of those under -wards. That's definitely a shot dropped. So, 17's the par 3. Oh, 17! It's a par three. Okay, so the wind's left to right. Six iron up there. Oh, good shot. There we go. On the green. Ooh. That's not bad. It's not bad. Roll with it. Go for the birdie. Easy now. I don't think it breaks at all. Just straight putt. Nice, nice birdie, three under. This will be the last. Eighteen. Eighteen. Into the wind. I've got a power shot left, which is great. Again, the real risk is landing somewhere rubbish. I've got a couple of rolls. That's all right. 190. Oh, that's a terrible pin position for the last, isn't it? Hard to judge this one. Oh, nice shot. Go on. Oh, that's enough. No go for the birdie. So can we can we hold it? No. So the putting's got to improve. Gonna end up at three under. So three under, not a great round. Too many bogeys, too many pars. But everything should be birdieable on this course. That's really awesome. Oh, I don't get hit a lot of fairways. Hit more fairways than I thought I'd done. Must have missed two. Weren't making the greens. We're going to have to improve, but I think teeny cups is the way. Really focuses the putting. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Please um, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time for a bit more of Billy's Golf. You did great. Nice work.